Hey guys, it's Anthony Santo from MyRecordingInternship.com and today we're going to talk about getting a USB microphone working with Pro Tools HD on a Mac. And here's how we do that. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is that we have no input for it. This is probably the situation you're in now. I'm just making a new track. You go to track new. I just used a hotkey instead. And I will show you that in my inputs, there's no USB microphone, even though I have my Rode NT USB right here and it's on. You can see there's a little blue light, meaning that it's powered by its USB right now. So how do we get this working? Now we follow the same steps as we do in a regular Pro Tool system that's not HD to start off with. So let's do that first. We'll go into my Finder. We'll go to my Utilities. So Finder, Utilities. Well, Finder, Application, Utilities. And then go to MIDI Setup, Audio and MIDI Setup. And next we're going to open up the Audio window. All right, in the audio window, you're going to see your Pro Tools aggregate. Um, that's the one we want to look at. I know there's a million things here. Just go right to your Pro Tools aggregate and click on that. And you should see your, your microphone in there. I have it right here saying Rode NT-USB. Uh, that's the one I'm going to turn on because that's my USB microphone. If you have a different one, look for that one and turn it on. Press use. Great. That's done already. Nice and simple. Now. The next thing we're going to do is going to shut off my audio for a second. So I wanted to just kind of explain it before I do it. We're going to go to setup and then we're going to change right here the playback engine. So when we change the playback engine, we're now going to go from our HDX engine to our Pro Tools aggregate engine, which is allowing for our USB microphone. So here we go, playback engine. All right, so instead of leaving this all in silence, I'm going to talk you through it a little bit. Uh, so right now, Pro Tools will shut down, and then we're going to have to reopen Pro Tools, just OK everything. Now, when you bring it back up, it's going to ask you if you want to go back to your old playback engine. Say no, you want to be on the new playback engine that we just set up. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to our input output device. I'm going to show you right here that we still don't have anything on the interface. We have nothing going on. Uh, so we don't have our USB mic working quite yet. So we'll go into our input output. It's under setup IO. Now we'll go over into your input. <clears throat> We're going to make a new path and we'll label it for our USB microphone. Now, after this, uh, we're just going to make that path three, and I'm going to shut off a three and four. I'm just going to have my mono path three USB microphone. Now, if I go to USB mic and I turn on record, now the microphone works. Now, over here, I will uh, record just a little bit of it and then play it back. We can record a little something with it. As you can see, I am on my USB microphone as I take it away from my face. What I'm saying. All right, guys, really, thanks for being with me on this one. I hope you're able to follow along, and I hope this solves your problem if you're trying to do this. Uh, and please uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you guys on the next one.